Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to A Clash of Kings with Elias Mormont. Now, I think you can see we are currently in front of Ramsey Snow, and should I say we are behind him because he is fleeing from us and our newly found strength because I went to a couple of villages and recruited a few additional volunteers and leveled them up a little bit by fighting against some wildlings in the area. Now, what we have of course, is I was going to head to White Harbor and start the video there, but it appears that this fellow came out of nowhere and was pursuing us. Now, I did make a brief stop off at the Bolton Square because I thought, well, maybe he's there because it stated that he was at his father's court. And then I thought, well, maybe he's at the Dreadfort because that seems to be the closest castle. So I went near there and nothing seemed to happen, but I have applied the hotfix for the quests and everything, looping around the place, and thankfully that seems to have worked quite nicely. I'm not entirely sure why it wouldn't work before, but yes, there we are. That is great. Good work on the developer for that. And now we will be attempting to take this fellow down. Now I'm a little worried at his unit composition, because even though he is running from us, we don't necessarily have the greatest units either, so, hmm. This might be a very close fort battle, but we will soon see, won't we? So, after we have defeated this fellow, or been defeated, we will see, I will be heading to White Harbor and talking to the contact that Septon Germand told us about beforehand, after we had scouted the village all the way up here, Hill Hall. So, let us now engage Ramsey Snow and ooh, 28 man at arms. Oh, that's going to be very difficult to deal with indeed. And he says, I'll wear your skin as a cloak. Let's get this over with. Oh, yes. So we have 66 and they have 65. Very even numbers. And we are now going to lead our troops and see how we do. Now, yes, I think the first thing you may notice is the fact that I do have a lance. Now, I stopped by the Stormlands to retrieve a couple more volunteers, and I thought, well, why not? Let's take a look at their weapons and see what we can attain from there. Now, luckily enough, I found this lance, and I also found this mace. Now, one of you stated that the club was not really better than the sword, so I thought, well, why don't I upgrade my club? So... Thankfully enough, I think I have done just that, and we are going to be... Oh no, that is the wrong menu right there. We want to go to formation orders, thank you very much. Go to stand closer, and then we will deal with these... Oh my, that is rather nice shooting from that veteran Westerlands longbowman. I only have two of those, I believe. But yes, I think what we will do is... Try to take this fellow out. Oh yes, there we are. We took down his horse. That is mainly what I was attempting to do. That was not a mistake this time around. So, yes, let's just hope that we can deal with these fellows as best we can. And I will be charging our infantry in to hopefully swarm that cavalryman. And we will tell... Ooh, that was close. I almost got taken out by that sergeant right there. But maybe I can repay the favor and take him down. Or maybe not. That seems not to be the case this time. How dare you? Oh, well, I took out his horse in one fell swoop. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, I'm actually wondering where the rest of his forces are, and it appears one is coming over here. Now, I do have a long lance, so yes, I should theoretically have the advantage when it comes to lance versus lance combat. You guys taught me that. Very nice indeed it is, and we will now be moving our archers a little closer to the battle so that they are still effective at range. And, yeah, hopefully not crash into any of our own units as well. There we are. Took out one of their archers, and I will switch to my mace while I regenerate my lancing skills. And let's move them a little closer again, just to make sure they are in range. Now, we seem to be taking them out pretty easily. However, we have lost quite a few... Oh, we've only lost four units. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this appears to be where we might experience the pain, and that will be at the hands of a couple of Bolton man-at-arms by the looks of things. 
So let's try to do as much damage as we can. Oh yes, we're losing quite a few here. Come on, let's take him out. Oh, that was a very near miss, wasn't it? Oh no. Okay, well, the archer is going to taste my air, apparently. He's going to taste my air. And this guy is going to taste nothing. How frustrating. No. Okay, well, let's get in there, shall we? Yes, there we are. Took out someone else. And maybe we could take out yet another one. We do need to assist them because, yeah, we seem to be losing quite a few of our infantry, which is not a good idea. Especially if we want to do some combat after this. Oh, no. Oh, okay, well, there we are. We were lucky enough to prevail, but we lost 18 of our own units and 13 wounded. So that's not too bad, I have to say. We gained five renown, however, we lost quite a few of our, well, somewhat good units. We lost our mounted Dragonstone Sergeant. No! He was the first of his kind to get promoted and everything. Oh no. Okay, well, at least we took out Ramsey Snow for our quest, and we are now able to capture the few prisoners that I was able to knock unconscious with our rather nice club. So that's not too bad. And we took no damage, which is miraculous. As you know, I do take a lot of damage in these fights. And, ooh, that's not bad. However, it does still have only 60 HP. So we might want to keep it just in our inventory so that our wound treatment... Do we have any wound treatment? I am not too sure on that, but <laughs> it would be nice if we did. Now, this bow is going to come in handy for a companion if they are going to be an archer. Now, hmm... This is okay. However, it does reduce our leg armor quite considerably, so I don't know whether I will be wearing that. However, it's always good to sell anyway because it is 950. And hmm, no, I have better leather boots. So let's just take a little bit there to sell. And hmm, I don't have any gloves for potential companions, so let's take two sets of those just in case. Okay, that is fine with me. And... Have we completed the quest? I hope we have. I hope it updates. Does it update? Oh, okay. So, oh, basically we just need to kill him and return to Sir Roderick to claim your reward. And that is at Winterfell. So we will be doing that after we have stopped off at White Harbor, as I said previously, to talk to the contact that Septon Gourmand told us about. So before we head in there, I would like to sell a little bit, of course, and I think we'll be... Hmm. These shields aren't too bad. Yeah. They're basically the same as the Tourney Shield, apart from they do give a huge amount of HP in comparison, so yes, I think we'll probably be keeping those for potential companions. You never know. And we'll keep this as well. We have two sets of torso, two sets of gloves, two sets of shields, and two sets of horses, which is not bad, so that's great. So, yeah, there we are. Shall we take some bread? Yeah, let's take one bread, just in case. Okay, so let's head into the tavern and see whether he is here. Oh, well, Septon is here. So it appears that... Oh, can he give us another task? Oh, okay. Well, oh, no, this is actually the same quest. Okay. Well. Quest log has been updated. Oh, no, did I have to do that before? Hmm, maybe that is the case. I am not too sure on that, but... Yeah, so at least we have checked that out, and what does it say now? Aha, uh -huh. has tasked you with scouting the village. We did that before, though, no! Okay, well... Maybe what I will do is return to Hill Hall very quickly. I will, of course, cut away here to save you the time. But yes, I suppose I will see you once we are back at Hill Hall. Okay, so we are arriving at Hill Hall, and hopefully we will see what is up with this quest. Maybe it is not necessarily working for me for whatever reason. Maybe I have done the quest in the wrong order, or maybe I have basically screwed it up for myself, perhaps. That is probably the case, because, as you know, I am not exactly the greatest when it comes to 
quests that don't tell you exactly where to go. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, let us talk to the frightened woman once again. What happened here? Yes, we know the story of this. Okay, good wife Myra. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good wife Hannah. But she doesn't say where good wife Hannah is. And I don't believe the quest will have updated from that conversation. Will it? So, let's just move away from Hill Hall just a second, and then we will see... Shadows in the Night? No, apparently not. So, it appears that you do have to extrapolate a little bit, and I was not aware of that until now. So, thankfully, I do know that, and we will be heading over to Barrowton once again. I will do this off-screen so as to save you the time, of course. So, I will see you soon! Okay, so we have returned to Winterfell to hopefully talk to Sir Roderick about the fellow that we dispatched, Ramsay Snow, and we will see... Yes, he is still here. Good. Okay, so... Yes, can I help you? Okay. That is a little strange. <laughs> well... It appears that we may have some issues with the quests. However, we do have the hotfix installed, and I thought I had it installed from the very beginning, but it appears there is some strange things afoot. Maybe what I have to do is head in to the Dreadfort itself. However, we did fight Ramsay Snow on the battlefield, so I am a little unaware of what I should do next. I suppose we could just head to the Dreadfort and we'll see what happens there. Now, I must mention that I think what I may be doing, due to the fact that the Iron Islands apparently have some very strong units, I might be joining them, or at least joining one of their vassals, or maybe I will be joining one of the forces like the Stormlands or the... Dragonstone faction, because I saw just a moment ago before I resumed the recording, they had declared war against each other, so I thought, well, maybe I will join one of their vassals as a common soldier and I'll get some cash and some renown as well. And then we would hopefully have enough renown to join the Iron Islands as a vassal. I thought that might be the most fun to spread out the Iron Islands influence. And that was very close. I thought that fellow was a neutral party. And yes, I, so I thought that would be rather cool. But yeah, please let me know about any of these things. If you guys know how to complete these quests as well, then by all means, leave it in the comments. I am... Oh. Okay. I am pleased to have any spoilers that you may want to give me. Okay, so it appears... Hello. That we have to talk to Ramsay Snow. And he says, I'll make you regret this day. Well, I don't have any weapons. So, can I punch you? No. <laughs> okay, maybe I can talk to this fellow? Who are you? Aha, can you tell me about House Bolton? The Boltons are an ancient and powerful house of the North, who for many centuries were bitter, were bitter rivals of the kings in the North, the Starks of Winterfell. Oh, okay. Hmm... Approximately a thousand years ago, the Boltons finally swore fealty to the kings in the north and agreed to abandon their practice of flaying their enemies. However, 300 years later, the Boltons rose in rebellion against the Starks. The Stark armies besieged the Dreadfort for four years before the Boltons finally capitulated and dipped their banners once more. For many centuries, the Boltons remained loyal to the Starks, although rumours persisted that they continued to flay their prisoners in secret, and maintain a hidden chamber in the Dreadfort to display the skins of their enemies. Ouch. Okay. Well. Yeah. He's here, and I've defeated him in combat. You saw it. And, unfortunately, it appears as though the quest is not updating for whatever reason. Well... That's a shame, I have to say. I was really looking forward to the reward of the quest, whatever that may be. 
So I suppose what I will do is be cutting away and maybe once we have found a vassal for us to join as a soldier we will do a little footage of that and then we'll probably end the episode off because I would like to do a little bit more of that off screen so as to not bore you too much with the waiting to get into combat with a vassal's army. So once again I will see you soon. Okay, so we have made our way down to the Stormlands territories, and I have found their king, which was rather advantageous, that is for sure. And so, we are hopefully going to be joining this fellow's army, however, who knows, we might be able to. Now, yes, my lord, I would like to enlist in your army. And he says, I've got room in my ranks for a man of your disposition, Elias. I can take you on as a Stormlands levy with a weekly pay of 40 coins and food, of course. Plenty of room for promotion and you'll be equipped as befits your rank. You'll have to take of what you can scavenge in battle, too. What do you say? Oh, yes, I'm with you. So once I accept this, I will be cutting away until we are in combat. Oh, OK, so here we have. A battle. Follow the commander into battle. We have 282 and the enemy has 303. Now we are against the king of the Dragonstone faction by the looks of things. So this is going to be, well, quite action-packed I would think. Now the only unfortunate thing is I was not able to level up from a Stormlands levy at all. So we still have the rather diminished gear and a lance for some reason even though we are not on a horse. Okay, well, I will follow our brethren in combat, and we will hopefully not die too quickly, as I would like to potentially get a few kills. Maybe <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, well, if that is not going to be the case, then I suppose what can you do? However, I will attempt to safeguard our brothers in arms right next to us here, and we'll see how we do. Now, I think it might be quite nice to go into first person for this, so we get the gravity of the situation fully encompassed here, and let's just see here. Okay, so it is actually a dead heat, 111 units on each side, but they have me on this side, so I'm pretty sure we have the disadvantage. <laughs> so we'll soon see how that goes. Oh no. Okay, R. Bowmen are attempting to shoot and doing some pretty good damage by the looks of things. Oh, I really wish I was a long bowman. It would be very nice now. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Oh, oh, I blocked an arrow. That is good. Okay, I almost died there. If I had died right then, I would have been so disappointed. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Okay, come on. Let's get in there. Do some damage to that fellow or not. Maybe interrupt his attack at least. There we are. Maybe I can... Oh my goodness, I'm taking a lot of damage. Okay. Who is damaging me? How dare you? Okay, let's get round here and deal some... Well, deal no damage by the looks of things. Maybe I can gun on this horse. That would be nice. Or deal some damage to this fellow. Oh, nope. Apparently he was taken out already. Maybe that horse is still there. Nope. Apparently it has been taken down. Wonderful. Okay, well let's deal some damage to these fellows instead then. Zero damage. Are you serious? Come on, zero damage. Are you really telling me that I'm doing absolutely no damage? Okay, well, maybe what I can try to do is stab someone. Yeah, there we are. We did 18 damage to that fellow and didn't manage to take him out, unfortunately. However, we might be able to take out this fellow. Although I believe that's actually one of ours. Huh. Really? Zero? Okay, come on. Let's try and stab someone then instead. Wow. Okay, it appears that the Stormlands are very powerful indeed, and they have completely decimated the Dragonstone King's army, as we can see at the moment. And maybe I can get in and... <laughs> well, I suppose you can say that I'm trying, but it is not working out too well, that is for sure. Maybe I should have picked up a weapon from the ground. Yes, there we are. That probably would have been a better thing to do, that is for sure. But we do have some additional enemies coming in now, so let us hope that we do not die too quickly so that I might be able to get a couple of kills here. That would be really nice. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have drawn the short straw here by the looks of things. Oh, no. Reinforcements have arrived. Maybe I can do some damage to this fellow. Or maybe I can eat the dirt. 
That appears to be the case this time. Well, ah, <laughs> uh, yes, as I said, yep, yep, that's not too good, is it? And as soon as I had picked up a better weapon than what I had previously, we were taken out. That is so disappointing, oh my goodness. Well, I suppose you did get to see a couple of really nice close-up shots on the enemy units right there. And unfortunately, I was taken out with 47 damage from a Glaiveman, I believe. Is it a Glaiveman? Maybe. I think he was using a sort of Glaive, at least. And yes, it appears it may have been a Glaiveman as well. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose we can watch the end of this fight and then our king, well, our king for now will be heading on into different encounters and I will be cutting back when he happens to do just that. So we will watch the end here and then I will cut away of course. So oh, he went down, oh no, come on. These are Stormlands Knights by the looks of things. Their units seem to be very powerful indeed. I mean, we should know we have been using quite a few Stormlands units. And it appears that the Dragonstone faction pretty much only has archers and man-at-arms now, by the looks of things. Whoa, this is quite the battle. I really wish I just had better gear. That is basically the only thing that would have improved my chances of at least killing someone. Ugh. Oh well, it appears that new enemies and reinforcements are arriving at roughly the same time as well. So, hmm. It appears to be quite the dead heat, as it were. As we saw at the beginning, there were 111 in each army. So, I suppose we could assume that that would happen. But it appears the caliber of the Stormlands units is outweighing the vigor, shall we say, of the Dragonstone. And they are now starting to scatter as the Dragonstone reinforcements start to rush down the hill right here. And, whoa, they have a huge amount of archers. Well, that's something we have to worry about in the future if we do make war against them. And here come the Stormlands reinforcements. They have a rather far distance to run, that is for sure. I suppose this is where athletics comes into its own, and that reminds me, I really don't have a lot of it, do I? <laughs> and there we are, that is one of the last kills of the engagement, and we are going to hopefully track down the last remaining units, and it appears they are going to be routing. Okay, so we have returned into the battlefield with King Renly Baratheon, and I must just mention that I forgot that you can actually change your equipment after you have joined their army. So now, as you can see, I do have my regular mace that we like to use, and I also took a few pieces of loot from the previous engagement with the Dragonstone King. And that being the chainmail helm that you can see me wearing here, and the chainmail torso as well. So that is very nice indeed, and we have been promoted to a Stormlands Man-at-Arms. So, let us hope that we can get a few kills here, perhaps. Now, the only problem I am currently foreseeing in this particular engagement is that there are only 16 enemies. But, I suppose we are helping our king to further his gains, I suppose? And I think the only other thing I need to mention is the fact that I sold quite a bit of loot for 2,400 coins. So I was very pleased with that, as you can probably imagine. And that is, of course, due to the fact that we were fighting the Dragonstone King himself. So let us get ready to do some damage, shall we? Maybe. Or maybe our heavy Stormlands Knights will deal all the damage that we need. Oh, there's 9 damage, 22 damage, and maybe a little bit more. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, there's someone there. Take him down. Come on, 26 damage. I might be able to... Nope. <laughs> ah, well, I suppose what can you do? That is a little unfortunate. 
But maybe we'll get some good loot? I somehow doubt it. Okay, yes, no loot whatsoever by the looks of things. Now, I will be, I think, requesting audience, because I think you can get quite a bit of relation that way, because I've already gotten two relation, and I think that is mainly due to me speaking to him after that engagement with the Dragonstone King. And I suppose now, once again, we will be waiting until he engages in combat once more. Okay, so I think this particular battle will definitely be something that we want to watch. Well, we are against the enemy's king again by the looks of things, oh my. We will be charging in once again with our brothers in arms. We do have 487 and the enemy has 77. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, yeah, I suppose you can't pick your battles. Your king has to pick them for you, so <laughs> we are going to be taking these guys on. So let's actually just check out the map here for a second. Now we have 148 on the battlefield and the enemy has 74 of course and I can only hope that we get a couple of kills here because of course it would be quite nice to gain some experience. Now what I will be doing is I think after this battle I will be doing quite a bit of off-screen training with this particular army and any key moments that I think will be rather useful I will of course record them and then they will appear in the next episode so let us get ready to vanquish our foes in this bout and whoa amazing sunsets or sunrises is that a sunrise or a sunset mm, I think it's a sunrise actually and where are our enemies I'm too busy admiring the Sun to notice ah it appears they are off to the left here it is a little strange that... Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Whoa, we have a huge amount of people in this battle as well. Whoa, okay. Now, that is an impressive sight, to say the least. I would really love to get an eagle-eye view here, but of course, that is asking for trouble. We do not want to die again, that is for sure, so... <laughs> yes, please don't kill me game now. Oh no. Let's see here. Oh, there they are. Okay, shields up, by the looks of things. Okay, so we're... Oh, okay. I'm just making sure that our units are by the side of me, and when we are issued the charge order, we charge in with everyone else, and we will act like one of the gang, as it were. Lowering our shield and everything, unless we are told to charge headstrong into them. Okay, I haven't actually done any of these tactics before in my own armies because I am not that complex when it comes to tactics, as you guys already know, I think. Oh, here we go. We are getting ready to charge. Shields up. Keep our shield up. Come on. Are you ready to charge yet? <laughs> I would have charged already. Oh no. Okay. Come on. Let's do it. We seem to be circling each other. Shall I make the first move? No, it appears our enemies are making the first move by charging their cavalry in. Thankfully, they are not charging them in against us at the moment. And, oh, it appears our veteran Stormlands longbowmen are doing a pretty reasonable job at putting them down, and I'm hoping we will charge in soon. Maybe any time now? <laughs> that would be lovely. Oh, it appears we are letting our archers do the job, and now we are charging in. Shields up, though, so let's just charge in right here. Deal some damage to these archers. Yes, there we go. Do some damage right there. Oh, yeah. 28 damage. Not bad at all. We already took down someone. That is great. And, oh, no. That guy has a rather severe-looking glaive, polearm type thing. And, oh, I thought we could take him down, but no such luck. Oh, no. Here we go. Take down this guy. There we are. 27 damage. And, oh, I helped the Stormland Sergeant, at least. Didn't get any kills, but... <laughs> Well, actually, I killed one, so that's better by 100% from our previous fights, so not bad. 
and we might be able to take down this fellow if this elite Stormlands man at arms or any of the numerous amounts of knights don't take him out first. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we got to see some rather advanced tactics. Well, considering it is the AI using the tactics, they are not too advanced, considering a human could probably do much better. Whereas, if you talk to me about that sort of thing, I would be like, Oh no, just charge in. Oh yes, just hold position with the archers and charge straight in there. But I suppose waiting until your archers are very close, and your infantry as well in turn, and then charging in is most likely the way to go. As you can see, we barely had any losses whatsoever, so that is wonderful. And, as you can see, I got one kill, so we are on the kill count now, which is even better. And now we have increased our relation with the Stormlands, and we have gained a lordly chainmail hawbok, which is wonderful to sell our old one, I suppose, because, as you can see, they are all 1400, and we have some leather boots here, which will probably go very nicely with color coordination and everything, so there we are. We do now have 5,000 coins in our possession, and we will request an audience, hopefully get... No, no more relation, how unfortunate. Oh well. Okay, that is fine. And we will continue onward off-screen. So, I thank you for watching, and my apologies for not being able to complete any of the quests. Not entirely sure what's going on there, but hopefully one of you can shed some light on that in the comments. So, I will see you next time.